Hi, I'm Christopher Dunnigan. This is Handmade in Vermont.com, and today we're talking about the Hubbardton Forge Arc 5 Light bathroom sconce. So, this is the 2013 13. There's also a number of other ones too. There's a 3 light, there's a small single light, there's a large single light. I happen to have the small single light right here, so you get an idea of the size of the glass fixture. Now, just kind of think of this multiplied by 5 going over. But you know, those other ones have, those other sconces have videos on their pages that I'll probably touch on things that I won't touch on this. So I would go back and at least look at the, um, look at the one for the single one by itself. That is a 2013-11. A lot of good information in that video, so check it out. So this is going to be 8.1 inches high, and that's a distance from the bottom of the fixture to the top of the glass, and then 37 inches wide, so it's a pretty good spread. 4.5 inches is going to be the projection from the wall coming out and that's going to be to the edge of the glass because remember the glass on this is art just like that hence its name right so you also have a backplate on this it's going to be 5 inches by 36.5 inches end to end and the mounting height distance from the bottom of the fixture to the middle of the electrical outlet box is coming in at 2.9 inches so other things you guys want to know so what I want to talk about finishes really quick and I, I touched on these in those other videos and that's going to be that Hubbardton Forge calls this a bath fixture but you can use this anywhere if you wanted to the other things you'll notice that they offer in limited finishes so you'll pull that menu down and you'll see hey where's dark smoke I want to use dark smoke on a ceiling fixture in the same room or bronze or something like that what you would do with that is you would send me a quick email and say, I'm looking at the 2013-13 and I need it to be in dark smoke because I'm matching it up with something else from Hubbardton Forge in the same room. I'm going to take your email. I'm going to send it through customs. It's going to come back with an answer, and hopefully that answer is going to be yes, that we can do it in the coastal dark smoke finish to match the other fixture you have. It's a custom, it adds a little time and money, but I have done this numerous times on these bath fixtures. And if you want to see what that looks like, go over to the finishes help guide, just bounce down to the very bottom of that page and there's going to be a chart with those outdoor coastal finishes. Okay, So why don't we talk about what's inside of this, we'll touch on glass really quick. So this is the same size piece of glass and it's, it's arced like that, and it's called a slump glass. Slump glass is basically done in a kiln, it's art glass, it's the same kind of quality of a glass that you'd find in any great American art gallery, like a craftsman's gallery. It's done in a kiln and it falls with the heat because these kilns are incredibly, think of a kiln that's used to do ceramics. So you, you put in the piece of glass and they have different types of glass on top because there's white swirled in with clear on this. It's going to melt and fall into a form and that's how you get that piece of glass done. It's going to be using five of these uh, medium base sockets and medium base is just the nice big socket we've all used before. It's going to be using what's called a, or it wants you, they want you to use a type B. And type B is going to be the skinnier bulb that can fit behind that housing. And it's going to be either a flame tip or it's going to be a torpedo. These also come in frosted too, so you don't have to get clear. If you want to do incandescent, you're going to be using up to a 60 watt in each of the sockets. If you want to do LED, you do whatever you like, as long as it can fit into that fixture. Most of these are going to max out, I believe, about a 60 watt equivalent anyway. And you can find LEDs for this everywhere. So you can find them at your local hardware store. You can find them on Amazon. You can find them at Home Depot, uh, possibly even a CVS drugstore. You know, they're just, even your grocery store will probably have these kind of bulbs now. They're, I, I see them all over the place. When we get into the LEDs, um, you know, the color of the light's going to be really important to you. If you're using this in a bathroom, which probably most of you guys are going to be doing, I would shy away from that 2700 Kelvin light. That's going to be that super yellow light. And I would also not go to what's called daylight. Daylight in an LED bulb is going to be 4000, 5000, 6000 Kelvin. That's that blue white light that you see like in a hospital. I wouldn't go there either. I would go for what's called a warm white. And warm white is going to be this nice warm glow of a 3000 Kelvin bulb. That's what's coming down on me from the LEDs above. So that's what I would do. Um, it doesn't really matter, I think, in bathrooms whether you do dimmable or non-dimmable. I, I suspect most of these are going to be non-dimmable when you kind of go into this LED. But in bathrooms, people generally don't need to do that. But if you want to, it's there for you. Let's get into finishes now. If you're, if you're on the HandmaidenVermont.com website, look over on this side of the screen. Midway down, you're going to see a tab. It's going to say uh, Finishes Help Guide. Click on that for me. That, there's going to be a video on there of me talking to you guys about the differences in Hubbardton Forge finishes and how they can look on different types of forging. I'm going to be talking about a chart a little farther down on the page. You'll see it next to me here. It's going to kind of 
go over the differences between heavy forging and non-heavy forging and it'll be talked about in that video so it's really important that you kind of watch the video use the chart you can click on that chart on different things so you can click on dark smoke and a big page will pop up and show you lots of different things in dark smoke click on burnished steel or, or uh, natural iron it'll do the same thing but it's really important that you understand how Hubbardson Forge's finishes are kind of divided into translucent and opaque and how they can look on different on different fixtures. Uh, our showroom in Vermont has over, th well, we're up to 400 Hubbardson Forge fixtures spread across two floors. We have a what's on display page. It's way up there in those red tabs again. So click on that and you can see what we have to show you. That changes all the time because we're always adding things as they come out. Showrooms open every day except Sunday from 11 to 6. We have an amazing clearance center here too. Clearance center stuff is 75% off MSRP. It's returns, discontinue things in showroom samples. If you were coming to visit us, bring a good sized vehicle, something like a big SUV or maybe a small truck or something like that because you might find something in the clearance center that you want to take home and it's a lot of fun to go through. 75% off MSRP is an amazing bargain, so you should really take advantage of it if you can. Like I said, we're open every day except Sunday from 11 to 6. I'm here every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time. You can call us at 802-446-2400 during business hours. You can email us 24 hours a day, seven days a week, all the time. We love to answer emails. When you buy your Hubbardton Forge fixtures from handmadeinvermont.com, shipping is free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. There's no tax if we ship out of the state of Vermont, and we're the only dealer with 90-day returns and no restocking fees. No one else even comes close to that. Some larger items are non-returnable. We'll always tell you about that. It'll be in the description thing, that part of the description underneath uh, on the very bottom. So keep an eye out for that. <clears throat> we also offer a rush program. Hubbardton Forge generally takes about three to four weeks to get product out. They don't stock anything. That's how you're going to get all your finishes, your adjustable ranges to play with, all those things. We can cut that time in half, and it's super inexpensive. If you want to know more, drop a quick email, and I can I'll walk you through the whole thing, okay? So if you guys have any other questions, let me know. Love to see you in our showroom sometime, and have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.